And Community Matters, the Codes Bluff Nature Trail is more than just a walking trail. It's really a place that gives three inner city schools an amazing opportunity to explore and learn, and we could be at risk of losing it. Now, founder of the trail, uh, Jan Sol and Magnet High School student Ava Smith, joining us this morning to tell us how we can help preserve this green space. Guys, thank you so much for being with us this morning. Thanks for having us. Yeah, so Jan, tell us why, uh, tell us a little bit about Codes Bluff for everyone watching us this morning who may not be familiar with this beautiful place. Yeah, so it's it's really, it's an environmental success story, for one thing. Um, it's an inner city trail that preserves our local heritage. Um, it provides critical habitat for um, an abundance of wildlife. Sure. And it's, uh, it, it's an inner city refuge for these four neighborhoods and three schools that use it as a green space and as an outdoor classroom. Yeah. Yeah, and we definitely wanted to stick around. So, Ava, that brings us to you. Mm -hmm. I understand you've been walking the trail for quite a while. Tell yes. us your connection to it. So, I grew up at the Montessori School for Shreveport, and starting from, like, kindergarten age or even earlier, we would go, like, every, not, maybe not every week, but we would go regularly mm -hmm. on the trail, and it offered as a great way to learn about, like, the local landscape and to get to know what the area was like, sure. you know, such a young kid. And not only you know just for children but for adults too it offers a great way to learn about not only what the area is like but the history of the area and the connections that it has with how Shreveport was formed and everything and I feel like you know if if we lose that it could have a neg really negative impact on you know the development of the sure. area. Absolutely, and so you say that it will negatively impact students and teachers alike. You've been walking this trail since you were very young. We certainly wanted to stick around. Jan, I want to talk a little bit more about just the rich history in this in this place. Tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that, like Ava was just telling us. It holds so much more than just trees and a trail. Tell us right. about that. Well, for one thing, it's the ancestral homeland of the Caddo people. Um, it's also got the first um, post office. It's actually before that, it's the first trading post. First European settlement, first trading post, and then first post office in all of Northwest Louisiana. We're seeing some shots there of j the trail, you guys walking it. It's just really a beautiful place. Now, we want everyone at home to understand why it's so important for them to back you guys on this, Jan. Tell us a little bit about how they can help out and why they should. Yeah. So uh, there is the, the last um, undeveloped land in the watershed that buffers this trail is now for sale and if that is purchased and developed it will it'll ruin the trail and we'll lose that that protective space sure so um, we have a GoFundMe um, going we have a fundraiser at the end of this month um, both of those you can get more information about at our website mm -hmm. which is www.coatsbluff Dot org and it's coats it's c-o-a-t-e-s got it yes yeah. and we want everyone to go visit that so again you can go to that gofundme and donate today this is something that we all need to take part in preserving really a piece of history right here in shreveport that is important to all of us not just students and educators john and ava thank you so much guys for being with us this morning we certainly appreciate it all right guys stay with us we'll be right back